Hi, I'm Kathy. And I'm Annie. And we take freeze dried, dried to fresh. Today we're making a broccoli salad. And I'm going to go some fresh broccoli today because for the salad I like that little bit of freshness. But I'll get started right away by starting to make some florets for our salad. And you, like, like Kathy was saying, we do have freeze dried broccoli, which is super nice. We actually just ran out. so. Um, we don't have it to show you, but it is pretty much as bright as what you see here, which is super nice. Now, uh, also, um, the most of our product, um, it's picked at the peak of perfection, and I think we've explained that before, um, where it's picked when it's ripe, not when it, it isn't, when it's green. And the reason for that is because um, all the nutrients are locked into that food and we have way more phytonutrients that are in our food. So within two to three days, three to four days, you can lose up to 30 to 40% of your nutritional value. That's pretty. And that goes with most of fruits and vegetables yeah. from the grocery store. So our freeze dried has about 52% more vitamin B, which is um, pretty, pretty good because we're getting way more nutrition in our food. And I don't know if you've noticed, Kathy, but I know that I noticed with the freeze-dried food, when I use it, because it's so packed with nutrition, I think it sustains and, and you know satisfies us way longer than if it was a green product or a product that hadn't been ripened on the button. I find that too. Yeah. I am fuller longer. And, and it's all because of the final stages of ripening is on the vine, not sitting on a truck when things are picked green and it travels to the grocery store, it's losing nutrients every day. So this, the only way you can get better than our cans, honestly, I feel, is if you pick it fresh from your garden and eat it right away. That's when you get yep. more than this. All right, and the Nutri-Lock is a, is a 40 step process and it's in the back of all of our cans and it's a standard. There's, steps that we take from the grower to packing that, that qual, um, guarantees that you're getting the highest quality product like every single time. So this is proprietary, so some steps we are aware of and other steps it's just expected through this process to make sure that we, you and us, get the very best product every single time. Mm -hmm. That's looking real nice right there. I love broccoli salad sometimes. We're not going to be throwing anything um, in there other than onions and grapes and some cheese, but sometimes broccoli salad, I love to do it with some dates and some nuts in there. You love dates. I, I think you want dates in everything. Well, <laughs> I haven't done anything with dates for a while. So, <clears throat> all right, thank you. That's great, Kathy. So we're gonna be not refreshing these at all. We're just gonna be tossing a few onions and a few grapes. Few more than I anticipated. All right. And we're gonna be doing some little, little chunks of goat cheese. Okay, so we have a coleslaw dressing that we did in one of our previous videos. So go looking for that. Actually, the link will be posted below. But this is the dressing that we're gonna be putting on the top of our uh, broccoli salad. Okay, so I'm super excited about it because this is a delicious topping. All right, and then I'll be just mixing it all up. Thank you for doing all the work today, Kathy. No problem. I don't do it very much because I usually use Thrive, but today I'll, I'll take one for the team. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're just gonna put out the balance of it. Can't wait to try this. This is one of my favorite salads. I do this all the time. Sometimes I'll put Ooh. dried cranberries or sometimes I'll put some sunflower seeds or nuts in there is really good too. See, seeds, nuts. I, I like those too. Seeds and nuts. Just, oh. <laughs> Does that make a mess? <laughs> so sunflower seeds would be really good in this. We could actually chop it with some of those. All right. So we've kind of made a mess. That's what you do when you use fresh. I know. <laughs> it's like That's that. It goes. Okay, we got it finally all chopped up with minimal war wounds. And I noticed, you know, I haven't had that much waste in a long time. I never have waste in the cans, 
Whereas this is what we had and I even chopped up all the cores, but this is still all of the excess. So if you want to do it this way without <laughs> all the excess, subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified when we post a new video and the recipe will be down below. So comment and let us know what you think of this recipe and give us a thumbs up if you like this video. And we did add, just to finish up, we did add the goat cheese um, just to top it up with a few of the seeds Some just to make seeds. it that much yummier. Anyway, and remember, remember you, you can, can do, do this too. too.